I just, I just want to say, um, you can see here, um, when we show, when in our MBA classes, when we show, for example, the film of your, um, you know, industrial, the next industrial revolution, it just changes the whole, I see some nods from some students in that class, it just changes the whole mindset. And, um, and I just want to say, when you think about the importance of our management schools, you know, I, I, I'd say, you know, management schools and executive leadership programs, there's several million students a year coming out of our business schools. These are the millions of students that are going to be shortly making the billions of decisions that end up, um, in some sense, adding up to where our world goes. So I think I just want to say thank you for joining us because I believe that this is one of the most important leverage spots that we could begin to approach the kind of design thinking that you're talking about where, you know, design is the first signal of human intention. Um, the models you give us on economy, equity, and equality, more good, not just less bad. Um, all of a sudden, when you start seeing these things happening, you realize just how potent the power of positive human intention is. Um, and I, I loved today that I hadn't heard before this whole idea of how many of us are indigenous, you know? Um, and I just thought about how that changes that intention. Um, I was in a discussion with Rodrigo Lores, one of the great CEOs in Brazil, and he was talking about social responsibility. And the group was struggling with that language. They said, you know, is it responsibility for the whole? Um, and then someone said, the word responsibility is wrong. It's intimacy with the whole. Aha, that begins to change all of it, you know, that consciousness and, and the intention that you talk about. So um, please join me in thanking Bill McDonough for joining us. Okay, we'd like to uh, move with Bill's ideas and amazing examples back to your ideas, your examples, and uh, continue the conversations that we began in the pairs. Uh, now, of course, we're going to be seated at tables, and we're going to ask you to work in either three or four pairs at a table, and begin to uh, share, explore, and uh, look for where we have some shared ideas, images, experiences, resources, tools. So if you'll go to um, page 11 in that white section of the workbook, I'm going to quickly uh, just overview the uh, a suggested structure for the next uh, half hour discussion. So, so the first thing we're going to do is ask each of you to introduce your partner to the table. And uh, the way we hope you would do this is to simply share one or two highlights from your conversation. Any, any moment during your uh, conversation uh, before Bill's talk that jumped out at you, that attracted you, that uh, inspired you. And, and so it's that kind of an introduction. It's not the typical, well, this is so-and-so when they work here, but what did you learn about them that, uh, or how did you experience them in the conversation? Just one or two highlights, and everybody would introduce their partner, so that would be maybe the first five or 10 minutes of your discussion. And then uh, we'd like you to go deeper into the four questions. Each, each table has a uh, number on a colored card, and uh, the colors will designate which question we'd like your table to focus on. To help with this, you need to sort of quickly allocate a timekeeper, a recorder, a reporter, and somebody just to kind of stage manage the conversation, make sure everybody's got a chance to speak, make sure you were staying on the topic. So the red tables will focus on the first question, the high point experience around something that you thought was a design experience in your life. And so what are the common factors in those stories? What are some of the common themes? 
or even what are some of the lessons that we might draw from your collective stories? We have a, yeah. And just beyond page 11, if you go to page 12, for the red tables, you'll see a little sheet there that you can summarize. It's a template that'll help you summarize your conversation. And then similarly, for the yellow, green, and blue tables, you've got a template in there to just help you organize some of your thoughts. So the yellow tables, you'll focus on the, uh, the second question, which was a search for uh, amazing innovation stories and uh, resources. The green tables will focus on the images of the future question, and the blue tables will focus on the future uh, images of management education as, for example, as design studios. So each, each group, after you introduce your partner, we'd like you to zero in on the particular question that's whatever color of the table you're sitting at. And uh, we're going to ask, uh, after this part, we're gonna pass microphones around and give different tables a chance to summarize. You'll see on your template, in addition to summarizing some of the common themes, we'd like you also to be ready to share one of the remarkable stories that came up in the paired conversations, a story that evidences some of the themes or ideas or images that you're coming up with. Let me build on that. Yeah, yeah let me build on that. It, it's a little bit different assignment for each group. So the, the red groups, um, we do want you to come back with some narrative, some story, not just the list, but um, some, one of the powerful stories from your group. Um, the second on the yellow groups, um, after you kind of look at the innovations, small innovations, large ones, um, we'd like you to create a metaphor or a picture um, depicting the kind of capacities and strengths and qualities, leadership qualities that go in that you saw in those, in those kinds of things. So some kind of metaphor, it could be DNA, it could be tree of life, whatever. Um, the group on the images of the future, um, the kind of world that we want in 2020, after you've kind of put together your images of the future, um, we'd like you to kind of think about a front page news headline. Um, and, and what is that headline in 2020? What are some features of the story that help kind of give us a creative twist on your images? And then the blue groups, um, again, um, as you create your images of the management schools of the future, um, create some kind of creative way to present that. It could be, you know, um, it could be a short skit. It could be um, a, a Wall Street Journal headline, whatever it is. But to depict the images you have, could be a model, um, could be a drawing. So anyway, it's, it's, it's all there in the, in the templates. Okay. We have quite a few tables that have maybe four or three or two people, we'd like you to join another table so that we we'll groups of have eight. six to eight at each table. If you did have a partner for the discussion, please stay with them. If you came in after the uh, interviews this morning, then just join a table, okay? okay. But we, we want at least six to eight people at each table. With 30 minutes. And we have, we'll call you back in 30 minutes. 10 minutes to introduce each other and then focus in on your specific color-coded question.